Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back for our multi block madness series. Oh shoot, I am out of room. I'm just gonna borrow that for a second just to make sure this is all ready. Yes, uh, I have been getting everything for the structure panels we're actually going to need for our next multi-block. Um, so I've gotten most of this stuff uh, automated. Uh, I haven't got the resource part fully automated yet, uh, but I have a decent amount of resources. Uh, as we can see, I just I went to the beneath and vein mined two things like two veins for the rutile and this is all the titanium shards um i did send it through i sent it through the leaching vat and the mineral sizer uh that actually reminds me i made a bunch of vanadium steel because uh, i was going to get uh a ton of these gears now I made 64 just because I threw a stack of, it's easy. It's just one iron and a few pieces, but they're so small. Like one chromium will do 50 ingots. So I just threw like, uh, I just do uh, a stack in there. Now I'm going to do 27 and we'll see why in a second. <laughs> Actually, because that's the size of a... A chest um, and they don't stack unfortunately uh, but apparently you can pipe them into you can pipe them into here so I'm just gonna throw a chest throw a, a full just vanilla chest worth of gears and we should be good actually let me grab a oops A pattern thing. Did I? No, I changed the processing recipe, didn't I? I can't remember. I was thinking about doing it. I can't remember if I changed it. Yeah, I did change that. All right. Easy peasy. We'll throw that in there. And that. Also, while I am over here, I want to craft up these quantum tanks. Now, these are actually really easy to craft up, it looks like. Uh, and they hold a ton of... They hold a ton of... Uh, fluid. And it's just a few platinum and some advanced circuits. Um, it's, it's like really easy, so I was like, oh, might as well do that. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing that is because... From all my processing, this is full, and I'm not processing the leachate, however you call it. I think it's leachate. Uh, so that is full. Let me just hit that a few times to speed that up. It's relatively easy with <laughs> that. It's iridium. It struggles. You can't put iridium. The uh, overclocker doesn't work with the iridium. I just don't give it enough power. Uh, so oh, yeah, I want these tanks, and I will switch out the fluid tanks that I had. Uh, all right, so that is that. I think we are good with... I should have everything for this now. Yes. Uh, pretty much got recipes for everything. Uh, like I said, the only thing I don't have recipes for is like copper ingots from the ore but uh that should we should be good oops with that so that's cool let me quickly do this over here i'm gonna just th throw these down now i have set the filters there that should have emptied that out yep yeah. Uh, and I don't know, I don't want to like, I don't think that'll, no, that won't work. This is the old 
fluid tank. I just need to empty that out. All right, so I think that'll be fine. Uh, they do... These do feel kind of cheap for almost unlimited... Unlimited fluid, but... Uh, yeah, maybe that's intended, maybe it's not. I don't know. But uh, we'll just leave that. You finish that. So, uh, we're doing that, the structure things. And we're going to need these, again, for the Tier 3 Miner anyway. So, I didn't mind automating most of it. But uh, before we get into the Tier 3, um, because look at the amount of structure frames that we're going to need uh, going up. Right now we have 32. We are going to need 16 more. We're going to need a bunch of those more. So I want to get that. Uh, is that right? 16? Yeah. No. I can do math. 24. We need 24 more. Uh, so I'm going to have to automate all the, the actual getting the resources that, as we can see, a lot of it is not 100% automated. I basically just made some and throw like the copper cables don't have a thing on it yet. I just threw a stack of copper in there and threw it in the A system. Uh, I have started automating some of this over here. Uh, for example, this is the uranium. I automated some silicon. So we're getting there. I'm just basically automating as much as possible. These structure frames are no joke. Uh, but, you know, forces you to automate everything. All right, so that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm just, let me grab a few of these and I will throw it over here. And I think this is basically, I mean, oh God, where are they going? Oh, it's going. To, that scared me for a second. I thought it was like voiding it. I was like, ah, where's it going? I could do uh, five more actually, but I think I think this amount of gears, all the stacks. Even if I put through almost every ore, oops. I think this is gonna last me for most of the pack. To be honest, uh, this does 128 stacks per gear. Um, obviously it uses four, I think, with the, the communition level four. I think it uses four of them, but, uh, I could be wrong. Also, I thought, I thought they were all kind of the same. I don't know if something weird happened there. Hmm. Nope. It didn't do anything. There's the five gears and there's the five spaces. All right. So uh, we're just, unfortunately, the titanium is very, very slow. I did upgrade this pulverizer to a resonant and I threw these auxiliary sieves in there because there is a percent chance and we're actually getting a boosted chance. I think I threw like a stack of, I can't remember what I threw in there. Uh, but it was, it's 100% for two. So one stack of that should get 128, though small. I got like 160. So it is, yeah. We're getting at least two or three per thing. I just figured uh, with some of the more rare things, this is fast-ish for what we're doing at this point. Uh, obviously, if we start getting into millions of ingots, this won't be fast enough, but uh, we'll take it. All right, so let me get this uh, smelted up. And uh, I do need to work on do the void. So let me uh, get... We need, what, two vats, I think, what I was going to do. It's easy if you just do two vats as opposed to... Might as well get that fully automated. Yeah, water, nutrient distillation, and then nutrient distillation plus these two gets to the void. I think we fully automated that last episode. Yep. And really quick, while all that stuff is working, I figured I would look into upgrading 
my turbine um, and I looked at the best one which does appear to be the super alloy and uh, one of the things that you actually need from it is niobium but everything else is easy to get now uh, but niobium is still a little bit difficult to get um, but it's not it's not the end of the world I've automated the the chromium bit and uh, the uh, niobium we're doing the columbite shards uh, we did look at that before unfortunately it is 6.3 and this bunsite bunsenite shard is also 6.3 so it's kind of random which one you get i think uh, but i did manage to get a couple stacks of the stuff from two stacks of the oxide i think i put it all in there yeah uh, i put two stacks through there and we got a decent amount of those columbite shards, so I am just processing this all. And see, and we're probably getting some niobium. Yeah, we got seven in there now. So I'm just letting that run and get us those resources. Thankfully, it is only 42, so I don't need a super high concentration. But uh, yeah, so I'm just doing these upgrade kits and upgrading my thing here so just shift right click you get the old turbines out and the new ones in and i believe it is what is it we're going from a thousand to 3200 so we're going up 2200 per turbine yeah we're up to 30,000 now so i'm going to do that for as much as i can i can also use these turbines to make even more we have room for 50. So if I wanted, I could craft these up. Oops. If I want to do that. But uh, I'm just going to upgrade them and then we'll we'll see. Uh, but that is just going to help us out with the smelting because uh, the blast furnace uh, takes quite a lot of power, especially when it's overclocked. Okay, I realized as I was crafting up the vats that the industrial machine chassis, you can either do the one or the two, and the two actually requires this Widia, and I've been meaning to get this for a few episodes now, so I'm going to take a quick detour. This didn't look like a very difficult multi-block, and I have everything already set for it, so I think we'll just do this here. Uh, all right, so that, that, that. That would. Yeah. And. These actually don't have a, a side to them. So pressure vessel out the back. And gas pressurizer on either side of that. A oh, I left the other tank in here. Oh, I actually need three tanks. Luckily, easy enough to craft up. All right, so two sides that goes in, right? So one to the left of that and one to the right. Not where I wanted to put that. All right, and then this back top and it needs just RF. Yep, we are good. All right, so this apparently takes oxygen, syngas, and tungsten and gets this Widia compound. Now, it does sound a little bit... As I was reading this, it's like it requires pressure and all sorts of stuff, so... 
we sh we shall see now that is syngas and oxygen on the back <clears throat> i thought it was oxygen maybe it just isn't set uh select a recipe from the back the vessel at the back will purge wrong gases to be sent back into the storage system wrong gases hmm. i don't know we'll see i'm assuming well i'm assuming oxygen it goes on the left and although it doesn't say the sink gas is there uh we have luckily this has oxygen and syngas on it. And I was actually thinking, I'm like, maybe I should have just... I never noticed that, that recipe before. Iron foil. I guess I could just do a recipe for these gas pipelines, but I think we're almost like done with this, to be honest. I don't know how much how much more we have to go. Dang it. Yeah, so that I think we'll just need the gas ones are easier. Since you don't need a valve to connect like the you do with the water, uh, I th maybe I should set that. Man, I need to get a wireless. For sure. Because now the base is getting big enough. Uh, oxygen. Yes. I don't want sin gas to go in there. I think this will be good. Yeah, there's the oxygen. I thought there was oxygen on that line. And sin gas. There we go. Oh, this is what it was saying. It was saying something about this. Uh, put the upgrades in the lower chamber. The insulation upgrade reduces the temperature and pressure leaking. The casing upgrade reforces the chamber. Speeding the... Maybe we need these? Oh, boy. <laughs> what was it? Insulation. Casing. What do these look like? Haste alloy, we have got hydrolinium. Oh, that's easy. And the casing upgrade. I also crafted up a speed upgrade. I don't have all the speed upgrades recipes for them yet, but uh, right, apparently we had a... Oh, look at that. It gives us a tier six. That's actually really cool. We need the Widia for the the next upgrade. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, where am I? I'm over here. So I guess or, there they are. That that. I don't know if they're are they necessary. I I don't know. Oh, they're right there. Uh, makes heating and compressing ten times faster, and the insulation makes less heat. All right. I guess they aren't hundred percent required, but. Uh, all right, there is tungsten. I just went to... I went to the end and mined out one vein and we got all that tungsten from it. I'm just gonna throw it through the pulverizer. And since we have those... What did I put in there? 48, so I should have 96. Yeah, we can see I should have had 96. We can see how much we are getting 
extra from those upgrades, those augments. All right, so I don't know. Let's just try, we'll do eight. I, oh, speed upgrade. There, eight. Maybe we have to turn it on. All right, you'd have to turn it on first. Now, I don't know. 1200 and 2000. 2000, 1200. All right? Do I have. Do I have the wrong. Does that go in there, maybe? That would really be my only guess. Oh, 7,000 RF per tick. Uh, I'm not giving it that much power. Oh, it's not draining it, though. All right. The only thing I can think of is maybe it needs to go in here. Maybe... I'll switch, but I, I have a, I don't think this is where this is supposed to go. No, that's, this has to go in the thing. I don't know, we'll try. That doesn't seem to be something. I'm missing something. Okay, that took me an embarrassingly long amount of time. The... This goes on the second layer, which would explain why it didn't have a filter in it. I should have known that, because they automatically filter. Yep, so there is the thing. I can't change it, because it's set to the thing. I should have knew that was an issue. But... I, uh... It should be working now. Yep, there we go. There is our Widia compound. All right. Easy enough. Uh, if, in case you're wondering, the casing upgrade makes this go faster. So 10, I think that's Kelvin. You put the casing in. It is 100. And same with this. If you take out the insulation upgrade, it is... I think it's what you lose. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought that was a... Uh... Anyway, we're getting our... We're getting our Whittia compound. Uh, maybe... Yeah, I guess we could do all of that, I think. This is just oxygen and syngas. We get anything out the back? We are getting syngas out. Um... Doesn't look like it's... Back in anything up, but I guess we could. No, I would have to put it back like into the top, but I don't want to do. It doesn't matter. Syngas is just some coal and we're getting tons of coal now. All right, there we go. Our Whittier compound. And then that we throw in the alloy thing. I don't think there is any other use for it. There is not, so we can just throw this all in there. Is that not? Does that not go in that one? It does not. Does it go in this one? It goes in this one. We've never actually used this cabinet before. Interesting. Uh, these are kind of like different, like glowstone blaze. These are different metals, but uh, there we go. There is our Widia, and then Widia ingot. We need nine. There we go. There is our Widia ingot, and with that, I will be able to craft up the chassis for these fats. I also do need a file of essence, but I can just grab that right over there. And there's the vet. All right, so we got everything. I think I'm just going to do it underneath. Is that where I'm going to do this? 
Yeah, maybe back here. Be like, I wasn't gonna put stuff underneath here. <laughs> this is probably a silly idea, but uh, I can always move it. I totally forgot about the capacitor. I'm gonna borrow my octatic. I did do recipes for them. But, uh, alright, so we're gonna do that, and then, shoot, I forgot. Wither Skulls. Uh, the Wither one looks like you get the most out of. You get nine from that. Put that in there. Put that in there, and that should get us nutrient distillation. Depending on what you give it, you get better ratios. Is it sugar or uh, fermented? Fermented is the best, but I don't have... One's the spider eyes. All right, uh, we have this. I think I may end up upgrading my my conduits as well to the next tier. All right, that goes to that. That'll push that in there, and then that and that. Do that. Uh, let's just at least do. Oh, how did I not? How did I miss that recipe? That's where I had that recipe. Maybe I put it somewhere. Wait, we'll just do this. Uh, if we need large amounts of this then i will upgrade these but uh i don't i don't think we're gonna need tons of <laughs> that all right so obviously that's a bit too slow all right there we go i got the five buckets of that um we're gonna need an absolute ton of this later so i'm gonna upgrade this setup um probably going to get these automated for the things and maybe even the fermented spider eye because uh, we're going to need a ton of this moving forward but uh is that oh yeah structure frames and there we go Ooh, okay wow that was that was something the multi-block will only function in the beneath also, Midnight Ingot is what we're working towards. How much power does it need? It doesn't say. I guess it doesn't need power, which is a little bit of a... a little bit of a blessing. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of do it right down here. Let's get this built and then we will see. All right, so the five blocks in the middle. Like that. In goes in front circuits on these sides. I think any of these can do, no, those are, it can be any of them. So that, we'll do item input, fluid input, no, I want, I want that and that. Then these go on there. Let's see, so the structure frames go. Right, so that goes in the middle, and then these go here. All right, so. 
one. Make sure I don't screw this up. I don't have to go make more. At least right now. <laughs> there we go. Got it. One, two. All right, so two layers of that. I guess that makes sense. And then this craziness. Right. So one, two, three, four. One. Luckily, those light things aren't terribly. I don't have to break anything. So we got that. We got that. Next one is and these uh these blocks look really cool. I love how those blocks look. Been making it my my entire base floor out of those blocks. All right. Got that. We got that. We just did that and then the final That. And think that. Uh oh, I'm missing something. Where do those go? Oh, right on the top. And then finally, the obsidian likes. Did it change? There we go, structure found. Although it's kind of a <laughs> there it goes. It fits. Uh, so there, shadow condenser. We got, we got a thing. And boy, does it look cool. Fortunately, mobs can spawn there, but uh, I don't know if that's going to really matter. But uh, it doesn't look like this needs power for what we're going to need to do. But uh, yeah, next thing we got to get ingot. So iridium, empowered void crystals, dragon scales, cryo night crystals and do the void. So we're gonna have to get that automated. Uh, most of that stuff is. The only thing I don't have is the dragon skills, I think. We should have a bunch of that, these crystals now. So we are good there. Um, the empowered void crystal. I don't know if we don't. We have not done that. I have not looked at it. It's probably going to be difficult. They always are. Primal void. That's annoying. Palmium. That's annoying. These two aren't. These aren't terrible. But uh, did we get void essence? We did. So that's a little bit easier. Uh, those primal void stones, though, those are annoying. Uh, but we'll get into that more next episode. So thanks for watching and. Have a good one.